there is something we need It's a leap of faith A step away from the comfort zone And be a little brave If you have the will and a moment to spare It's a beautiful world out there It's a beautiful world out there starting at the free car park at Morrison Supermarket in Alloa. We will be walking along the banks of the Black Devon to Pondwood before heading up the back of King's Seat Hill. We will pause at Clickmannan Tower before visiting the parish church in Clickmannan Cross. We will then follow the Black Devon back to the car. Clickmannan's early growth much to its port on the tidal stretch of the Black Devon, where it flowed into the River Forth. Nothing now remains of the port except two clusters of wooden piles that are still visible in the muddy bank. As we leave Pond Wood, we get the first glimpse of Clickmannan Tower. The tower stands on King's Seat Hill, a dramatic site overlooking the Forth Valley. There may have been a royal residence here in the reign of Malcolm IV, in the 12th century. A castle was mentioned in a charter about 1250, and in 1330 David II celebrated his sixth birthday here, while his stewards settled the royal accounts. The royal connection is reflected in the name of the hill, in King's Meadow, and Craigrie, King's Rock. In 1359, King David II, son of King Robert the Bruce, gave the land that Clickmannan Tower now sits on to his kinsman, another Robert Bruce. Building began soon after, and for over four centuries, the Bruce family owned the very fine tower house that now occupies the land. The fortunes of the Bruce family declined, and in 1708, David Bruce was declared bankrupt and sold the estate, though he retained the tower. His son Henry, the last of the male line, supported the Jacobites in the 1745 uprising. He died in 1772, and his widow, Lady Catherine Bruce, lived in the decaying mansion until her death in 1791, aged 95. The estate was bought by the Marquis of Zetland, but the tower and house were abandoned. By 1841, the house had been demolished. Part of the east courtyard wall survives, with traces of a garden terrace, bowling green, and evidence for an outbuilding built onto the north wall. In August 1787, the poet Robert Burns was knighted in the tower by Mrs. Catherine Bruce, the widow of the last Laird. A descendant of Robert the Bruce and a staunch Jacobite, she claimed to have much greater right to bestow a knighthood than some people, referring to King George III. As we leave Clipmanon behind, we return via Backwood. The wood is a prominent area of woodland on the western fringe of Clipmanon. It sits on the north sloping face of King's Seat Hill and the flat valley bottom beside the Black Devon River. The wood was originally planted in the 1950s with a variety of mixed conifers. The path which runs through the centre of Backwood is the historic tramway that once connected the village with the port on the River Forth. Within the woodland there is also the remains of a curved lade connected to the former Clipmanon colliery. The lade follows a central contour around the hill and could possibly have formed part of the original Clipmanon tower. <laughs> 